Since ancient times, many of our people have worshipped Naga. More precisely, we worship the Divine Dragon's Oracle, Lady Tiki, though most only know her as The Voice. The Voice is trapped in her temple as Walmart's prisoner, but if she were freed, wow. the Resistance could unite around her. Where is The Voice being held? Right. There is a shrine built in the branches of the Divine Mila Tree. She's confined there. Then we have our plan. Let's get to it. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. Do we really do this now? The Mila Tree, Chapter 16. First off, I thought that was optional. Second, I didn't think it'd be so soon. Okay, then, in the last episode, we got Sadri to join the group, who is an incredibly awesome party member, so I'm very happy to have her. And I had a lot of stinking fun with Anna's new weapon that I wasn't expecting. In this episode, however, I carry only the he carries only the finest, as opposed to any other episode where he doesn't carry only the finest. But other than that, I think we're good to go. We got some stuff in the barracks, though. That's nice. New events are of occur. Just one, rather. We got... Lissa and Frederick. Listen on this romantic conversation. Frederick looks so handsome today, I feel like a slob in comparison. Thank you. I hardly deserve them, but these words shall carry me into the battles to come. The relationship improved, even though they're already maxed out relationships, so it doesn't matter. And we got a nice looking place right here. I like all the new stuff we've been getting. But whatever we get done here. Supports, we got Robin and Lissa, and Cherish and Noe. Let's check those out. Hey. Robin! Get away from me, she-devil! Uh, don't go getting your hackles up. I'm not here to prank you. Ha, huh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, don't talk to me again. Huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, are you really mad? Yeah. Of course I'm mad. You dumped a toe down my collar. Pretty sure that was a frog. I'm pretty sure I don't care. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Robin. I'm super duper 100% sorry. And I won't do it again. I won't do it anymore, so please be my friend again, okay? Hmm. You're really sorry? <laughs> Terribly. And you swear you won't do it again? Right. Princess's honor. Right. Well, alright. In that case, I suppose I could forgive you. Let's just shake hands and put the silliness behind us. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. You're the best. Oh, what was that? In your hand! Is that a, 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 a snake? Oh, no, Lissa. I'm pretty sure this is a worm. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought my heart was going to jump out of my throat. And you're terrible, Robin. And a total hypocrite. Uh-huh. Why don't you show me what's in your hand, then? Huh? Oh, what? This? Yo, why? How did this frog get here? Right. Sorry, you were saying something about hypocrites? <laughs> oh, it's no fun if you see it coming. All right. I'd have to be blind not to see it at this point. <laughs> next time I'm gonna prank you good. <sighs> and next time I'll seriously stop talking to you. What? Okay, fine, fine. I guess I'll stop for real this time. Oh, I guess I still have a long way to go. Whoa. Till you grow up? No, to the pond. I've got about a dozen frogs to put back. <sighs> kind of an anticlimactic ending, though I know in the male Robin situation, it's just like, Lissa, I love it so much when you shove toads down my pants. Wait, what? So, <laughs> I guess it would be a bit more romantic <laughs> in that sense, but... Uh, that's where their communications end, unfortunately, but uh, now that's taken care of, I guess I'll start pairing up Robin with Lucina so we can see those communications, and once Krom and Frederick are paired up, are ranked up entirely, we'll pair him up with his sister. And now it's time for Cherish and Noe. <laughs> Yay! Oh god, that was horrible. I was like, what? where my voice goes? Like, yeah! Yay! Minerva! One more time! One more time! If I may. I'm glad you and Minerva are having so much fun together, Noe. 
but maybe it's time to stop wrestling and give Minerva a break. Minerva is powerful, yes, but you're a formidable foe yourself in dragon form. Oh, right. Sorry, Minerva. Did I tire you out? Hmm. Poor Noe. You still want to play, don't you? Nope. It's okay. I don't mind. Well, maybe I mind a little, but if Minerva is pooped, I'll just have to be patient. Perhaps if I could take the place of Minerva. Huh? Are you crazy? I'm a dragon. I'll smoosh you into a paste. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about that. I once bested Minerva, after all. Really? Mm -hmm. So, you don't have to worry about scratching me with those claws, young lady. <laughs> all right, then. Here I come. Church is such a cool character. Like, I... I haven't really pegged down the personality for her, but I'm glad to finally see what she's all about now that we're having her be a mainstay on the team. Okay, what do I do now? Uh, I can check out these stores real quick. Uh, they have anything new? Not really, but speaking of Cherish though, I said I wanted to upgrade her to a new stat, and I think I'm going to do just that. I mean, for that to rhyme. Get a master seal. So we could either upgrade her to the Wyvern Lord, a seasoned Wyvern Rider who wields axe and lances, axes and lances, or a brand new class introduced in Fire Emblem Awakening, the Griffin Lord. It lets you ride a new type of animal, a griffin, and it is known for having well balance. It has lower attack and defense, but better speed speed and skill I feel like I don't know I don't feel great about switching the animal that we're riding because Cherish has such a, a strong connection with this creature so even though it'd be cool to have another new type of animal on the team and since we uh, unfortunately won't meet a character who has a griffin on their base form so it's kind of lame that we would miss out on that but I kind of want to keep Cherish as a Ryvern rider so uh, for that reason, I'm going to upgrade her to the Wyvern Lord. I have always been fairly adaptable. And now we can use lances, speaking of adaptability. So now that's taken care of. Next on our list would be... We could upgrade Olivia, but she gets uh, her special dance skill at level 15. So I don't need to get her to level 20, thankfully. But it would be best if I waited to level 15 before changing her class. Sumia, I might actually want to change now that I think about it. Uh, let me check to see what hers are like, because like, I just recently started looking at like when people learn all their stats, so I don't have to get everyone to level 20, uh, technically. Uh, Sumia, she stops learning skills at what level? Uh, level 10. Pff, wow, okay, so I could have upgraded her like years ago. I guess we could do that then. Uh, we'll trade that with... I just want to see like what my options are. So face the second seal, I could change her to a knight or a cleric. No thanks. Um, master seal, I could change her to a falcon knight or a dark flyer. Oh, I thought it would be a falcon knight then dark flyer. So I've been heavily advised that the dark flyer is a uh, insanely good uh, class to have on the team. It might take a while though because the skill that you get from it is at level 15 that would be very very useful but just so I could seem somewhat competent I think it'd be a good idea to change Sumia to a dark flyer. All those repressed emotions that she's been holding back after not getting to uh, seal the deal with Krom. She's gonna let it all out right here and now. Let's do it!
I'll give it my best shot. And we could use tomes. Well, that's cool. We should start giving her some since, like, Robin and Thars are our only other tome users. Uh, she could use fire. Might as well. And she could use wind. I think we could give any of the tomes to Robin and Thars, but, like, I only exclusively give them thunder. Just because. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, so I guess Sumi will be our fire and wind user. Now that's taken care of, we're getting a lot of powerful allies. I'd love to level up Anna some more so that we could change her class, because she's sort of becoming a liability in some ways, but, like, not really with, like, all that crazy combo power she had. It's just a matter of, like, what blade I'm using uh, her with. Olivia, unfortunately, needs to wait a little bit longer before I get to change her class, but I'll just have that in her inventory so I remember to do so. So I guess next on my two upgrade list will be uh, Lucina, and then Olivia, and then Anna. Okay. Now that we got that taken care of, though, it's time to take a little break and go to a... Oh, wait, we could buy Nosferatu's? Well, heck yeah! What can I fix you with? Uh, Tharja, get in on this action. Well, you have two of them, just so... We're safe, I guess. I mean, that's really cool. I forgot that. I didn't think we could buy them here. We could buy reeking boxes, so I could technically just off screen train like no tomorrow then. Well, I guess next episode I'll have Olivia uh, fully upgraded. But for now, we're going to Paralog 5, the Sage's Hamlet, which is very lame because this is unlocked specifically for a certain uh, pairing that we have. It is where we're going to meet another child unit, which is optional. And they are my least favorite child in the entire game, so let's just get this over with. Hey. Lucina, I'm still around in your future, right? So, um, what am I like? Well... You're warm and kind, for starters, even amid the darkness and desolation. Your smile serves as a beacon of hope for all of those around you. Jeez, I'd better get cracking if I want to live up to that. Oh, I know. Do I have children? Very well. You have a son named Owain. Oh. Aw, cute. What's he like? But don't you see? He's... well, he's quite colorful. Huh? I'm not sure I want to know what that means. Oh, wait. One more thing. Does he have... Yes? Mm -hmm. No, never mind. What? Are you sure? Right. Sorry, I just remembered I promised to help Crown with something. Bye! Huh? Lissa? Boss? This is it, boss. The treasure's here. I'm sure of it. Hey. Alright, woman, speak. Where'd you put it? I've never heard of no treasures here. Oh, it's a heaven. Oh, then I guess we're done here. She's useless, boys. Kill her. Right. Oi, boss. Halt, fiends! The devil are you? One chosen by forces beyond mortal comprehension. See how my sword hand twitches? It hungers for justice. Leave now if you value your life and limb, for I cannot stay with a hungry hand. This guy's got rocks in his head. Alright then, boy, guess you're the first to- Yeah! I tried to warn you, foul villain. The hand cannot be denied! Thank you. You saved my life. Wait, that stance! Who are you? Be gone, fiend. I am the wolf who howls for justice, the eagle who cries for love. Hmm. Our chosen warrior come from the future to bring hope to a dying world. I am a rain! Now return for your deeds in the eternal heck fire of perdition. Ready it down! It's the name of a game. Bless you, sword hand. Now's no time for games. 
You've escaped fate this time, Rogue, but remember, justice always prevails. Huh? Wow, that guy's really weird. Oh, wait a second. What? Yeah, I knew there were rocks in your head. Look lively, boys. Ignore the salt and find us that treasure. Pinch everything that shines and make for the hills. No, you don't. Not today, new air jewels. The legendary blade mist of time is further for my treasure hand alone. What? I am so lost right now. What is he even talking about? Never mind. Let's just kill the bandits and I'm sure everything will sort itself out. Uh, Why can't you say, Yuri? How sad. Uh, I hate him. I really, really hate him. Let's just get this over with. Uh, I could pair Lissa up with Krom now, I guess. Robin with Frederick. Uh, no, Rob, let's do Robin with Lucina. I know they're very far away, because I don't know how to set up properly. Uh, let's go and do this. Uh, Olivia. It is a minor log, so... A minor log, a paralog. So she could do some damage, hooray. Uh, Krom is with Lissa. Let's have Olivia be with Frederick, I guess. Uh, Cherish with Noe. Long Koo with Pain. And Tharja is alone, I guess. So where is this guy? Owain. He is the son of Lyssa. And I hate him. I don't know why. He's just like so obnoxious and annoying. And the stinking hand, man. I don't know what that's about and it bothers me I hate his stinking hand and like in all of his different official artworks for any other spin-off games he's always like shoving his hand into the screen I'm like what's the point it doesn't make sense and I hate it like I never thought I'd have so much hatred for somebody's stinking hand before but my god I hate his stinking hand I want to like chop it off I always just call him creepy hand man because my god it's so stinking annoying you know put Lucina right there so you can get her to level 20 uh, does she have a Master Seal? Uh, does anyone have a Master Seal around here? Probably should have thought this through a little bit. So I could have upgraded her during this fight. But I guess that won't be happening because I am not good at this game at all. Oh, late Lanku has one that is very good. Trade that to her. Uh, trade to Lucina. If I can... There we go. Oh, uh, what are we doing? We're fighting guys? Okay, sure. I don't even know what to say, honestly. Like, I'm just, like, flabbergasted. Like, I just want to get this guy out of the way. This is why, like, I don't go for the child units. Because, like, all of them are just really stinking weird and obnoxious. There is one, however, that, like, I'm tempted to go and get. But here's the thing. Like, I don't think we'll be getting any new male units in the group for the rest of the game. And, like, I don't like any of the male units that we've gotten up to this point to, like, where I would want to use them. Like, it's the whole shipping thing where, like, I don't know who to ship who with. Like, I just don't like anyone being paired up with anyone because I don't play the game like that. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of stuck in which I don't want to do anything. Uh, but yeah. It's actually with Olivia's child, which is why I kind of wanted to keep her in the party a lot longer uh, than I normally did. Because I, I really, really like her... A child. I might go into a bit later once we are done getting children units because we might be getting one more in this uh, let's play. But I don't, I don't know. It's just really annoying that, like, I don't know. I kind of wish you could get the children units, and like it was required for your characters to get married. And you know, it's like it makes sense. It's just that, like I don't know. We can still meet children from the future so that we don't know who their parents are going to be. But now nah, I guess it doesn't make sense because like. Then the communication sessions, all that jazz, it wouldn't work. Fine. Oh, uh, we'll put Anna here, I guess. 
What do we got? Oh, they're attacking the villagers. Oh, no. Only five damage, though, so it's not that bad. Let's see, we got a little bit of damage. This is doing very, very good for herself. And Sumi is probably going to be not as useless anymore. Also, uh, now that I think about it, I think the game has it set up to where, like, if we do start using child units, then, like, I I might need to get rid of someone in order to get Satori as a mainstay on the team. Which is kind of lame, so I don't know who I would want to switch out. Because I want to have Lucina be a mainstay. Because she has such high relevance to the story, but who would I get rid of? I feel like Sumia would be... The one I would want to switch out because I'm attached to her the least, but I just upgraded her, so it'd be kind of weird if I switched her uh, class and then just got rid of her right afterwards. So I don't know. Also, I need to get over to Wayne as quickly as possible so that he could join us. And also so uh, we he doesn't get that much experience because I don't want him to get experience because I hate him. He does not deserve it. And Lissa is kicking major booty, jeez. Olivia, always oh, too slow to actually do anything for us. Um, let's go with... I don't know what I want to do. Let's jump down here, switch to Frederick, but I need Olivia to get... Stinking experience, so... I guess we'll just do dancing for now. Need to get to level 15. Is that even gonna happen? No stinking clue how or if. But yeah, I guess I'll be getting rid of Sumi after this chapter if it is required of me. Um, let's go with attack. Yeah, that's real insightful. Let's go with an attack. Get that experience, a lot of experience right there. This is before I pay my bills or whatever that said, I don't know. That's for Rock 2, bro, but it doesn't matter because we have another one. I always like switch up the pronunciation where I'm like, Nos for Rock 2, Nos for Rock 2, Nos for uh, Chicken McNugget, I don't know. Uh. Go over here, I guess. And we're good. Let's see, what we got two more damage to the villagers. Oh no, how sad. Very minor damage. Just gonna speed this up a little bit just because this guy doesn't deserve any special cutscenes. Going over there to Olivia, but thankfully she dodged it. Okay, she might actually be able to finish that guy off. And he heals himself. He could heal and do damage in the same turn? Okay. Good to know, but not really because I'm not going to be using him. Olivia! She could actually kill someone for once! Hooray! Uh, but now she doesn't get killed first. Sorry. And there we go, a level up for her. And as I do know now, we do keep our level ups even if she gets KO'd, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, Lucina, no one's over here anymore. Uh, let's just hurry up and get rid of this guy. Now this little castle is safe. Uh, Tharsh is gonna murder some people. One, two, three, my god. These people are becoming way too singing powerful. Uh, Anna, I'll leave you on. Uh, talking duty, since you're just on your own. And Lissa, let's talk to your stupid son and get him out of here. Huh? Oh, hey, it's you. Thanks for helping. What? Mom? Huh? Blessed mother, I have crossed oceans of time to find... Oh, forget it. I'm your kid from the future. I look at the sick net ring upon my finger. Behold, a perfect match to yours. Unique in all the world, and yet you lie too! Proof positive my claims are true. Who did what now? Hold on, slow down, back up, start again. 
I'm sorry about that. Look, I'm important. The important is that here I am. That I am. That I, I... Oh, God, Zawain. Huh? That's your name, isn't it? Indeed it is, and none have ever been prodded about it. For it is the name you gave me, mother. I've come to part the dark clouds that hang forbodingly over this area. I don't stinking care. Jesus, get out of here. You don't deserve no experience, creepy hand man. Oh, go be weird with Henry or whatever. He also has a creepy hand just sticking up and being all creepy and stuff. God darn it, I hate his hand. Oh, uh, let's go over here. I don't know why. This is so weird. Uh, no, he attacked this guy, I guess. Gonna no he up, dragon up. Let's see him wondering. Uh, so we got who taking care of him? Like, hearing like audio glitches? Like, it's only whenever I like spoke up with Owe and like I heard the audio popping. Hopefully, that's on the actual recording. Might need to stop this soon, so probably gonna be the last recording of the day. Uh, Long Koo. Yeah, we'll have Long Koo do this. Long Do. More like Fondue. He's got like two swords. He's like, I'm more certain that he'll be just like Zoro. And 69! It's always nice to see. Enemy phase. As if Lissa has anything to worry about nowadays. You're messing with a new character, buddy. Don't have to worry about her ever again, really. She's really stinking awesome. Uh, let's see if we just get this. Oh, he actually died. That's unfortunate. Well, I blame this on Creepy Handman. I know technically I could have had Creepy Handman finish that guy off, but that would require him to get experience that should belong to someone else. So I'm okay with it. Okay, what do we do now? Anna, talk to this guy. You have our thanks for your bravery. I'm afraid this medicine is all you can offer in return, but I pray it keeps you safe. Speed tonic. Uh, grants plus two speed for just one battle? That's stupid. Uh, I guess that's it? Do we just defend here? It's kind of annoying. Uh, get weapon proficiency, I guess. Whatever. Uh, we'll go... Right there. Then over here. Do a little dance. Whatever it takes. And... Huh. I guess we could attack you from here, that's nice. Robin murders people, as usual. Right. right, murder is good. Uh, I guess Lissa will take care of this guy? You can do this. Uh, not quite, but we'll be there soon. Get that item. Oh, relationship. What do you do when you need a distraction? I find a remote patch of nature and relax. Settled areas do not mix with me. So that was good for them because they're actually in need of their relationship improving. Uh, I guess I'll put you here. And you can just die in a fire because I hate you. Have I mentioned that enough times yet? And he's dead. Oh, well. I don't really care. I just want to get this paralogue done and over with. No damage, miss. Oh no. Such riveting gameplay. Describe Fire Emblem in, in a sentence or less. Uh, it's like chess, but all the pieces are very sexy. That really boils it down when you think about it. And no, he gets a level up. Uh, if I get... Oh no, the boss is coming here. God darn it. The treasure's mine, cross me, and I'll decorate this place with your bones! Uh, kinda looks like an evil version of Creepy Hand Man when you think about it. And wow, that was a very underwhelming finale to this chapter. That was very sinking quick. No, he just murdered everyone. No, he murdered everyone! 
I feel like I could take on a whole army. You just did, Noe. You just did. Oh, we still got this guy. Unnecessary critical! And she got the Rally Lux skill, which is cool. And weapon level D. So we could upgrade her weapon, possibly. Uh, what other enemies are there? There's those three. Uh, let's see. Where's Lucina? Lucina! Lucina, where are you? Oh, she's right here. So, I'd like for her to... Get some more experience, so switch the scene right there. Dance it up. And see if we can get her to level 20 before this is all finished. Thank you. Uh we'll get rid of this guy. Whatever it takes. And there you go! Max level. So we could upgrade Lucina before this ends, so at least something worthwhile happened here. Uh, back up a bit, I guess. Well, I don't know, because she's max level now, so I could give the experience to Noe if I wanted to. Or Cherish. Cherish is level one, I guess. We'll give it to her. Oh, wait, we could have given it to Olivia. God darn it, I'm stupid. Eh, but he wouldn't have survived the counterattack, so, okay. I guess it's okay. Uh, heal Olivia, so she doesn't get murdered on counterattack. Bring you down here. And... I want you brought up here. This guy's already dead. They're all sinking dead, my god. Everybody is dead. Everything is cool. Oh yeah, I saw Lego Movie 2. It was okay. Like, I don't know, the... The great thing about the first one is that, like, it had that surprise value to where, like, the twist ending was, like, not spoiled and, like, it was incredible, like, completely unexpected. And, unfortunately, that couldn't be replicated this time around because, uh, we knew what we were dealing with. So, it was, unfortunately, not as amazing as the first one, but it was, it was okay. And that's perfect, but no guarantee that they won't step, or Tharja won't step in and murder that guy, so... Let's see. Maybe we'll get a critical, or maybe Frederick will help us. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, level up for Olivia. Very, very good. You are really helping, bud. And Noe and Cherish are the MVPs. Yeah, I'd say so. Thank you. You owe you a great debt for protecting our village, sort of. Truly, from all of us, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Where did he go off to? Lucina said she saw him go this way. Oh, maybe I should just forget it. If he doesn't have one either. <laughs> Let's have all your coin, girly. Unless you want to lose that pretty head. Stay back! Freeze. No one hurts the mother of a rain! Sacred stars! Oh, you hit me right in my sacred stones. Mother, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm... Holy crow, your arm! It's really ugly. This heart's not part of the sleeve. No, I mean, holy crow, look at that thing on your arm! All right, sorry, I guess I should have shown you before. It's my brand, the one carried by House Ulysses, so no more need to worry, eh? Then you know that I don't... Yeah. That your brand never surfaced? Yes, you told me as much. You said it always weighed on you. You should have seen how happy you were the day mine appeared. You were sobbing and laughing for an hour without pause. I was kind of hoping to grow out of the crying thing. Yes, well, no more waiting! It was by chance the load your brand never surfaced. We're all family leaked by blood. You really are a sister. My brand proves our lineage. 
Thank you. Just thank you, Owain. You're welcome. <laughs> and as science of the hero, it falls on the streets to my dark future does it come true. Come, mother, we shall find together. Can't control. Uh oh. Ah, oh, too much passion. So it hard. Getting hungry again! You know, maybe you should have that looked at. I hate him. But at least the voice is funny to do. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are headed to a certain location of possibly old origin. And we might be reuniting with a familiar face. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.